Hi guys, here we are in lesson 19, coming to you live from P. What? Woo! In lesson 19, you guys are going to be jumping for joy because guess what we're doing? We've been working towards this for a while. Within lesson 19, we are going to be not modeling anymore, not estimating anymore, but we are going to be doing, wait for it, wait for it, we are going to be doing, Evan, do you know what we're going to be doing? Fiona? Elsa? Zara? Arwen? Yes, Arwen, we're doing the traditional algorithm. Let's get pumped. Woo! <laughs> okay, you lucky ducks. <clears throat> we, sorry guys, we are getting into lesson 19. And I'm not sure how you guys have managed this, but I feel like this whole week has been pretty E-word lessons. Today in lesson 19, um, tonight in lesson 19 I should say, and then tomorrow during the day we'll be working on lesson 19, um, we are doing long division. Um, I would have to say the trickiest part about long division is putting the proper number, oops, let me connect my pen, is putting the proper number inside the house, if you will, the division house. When you're reading these division expressions, you need to be very careful about how you are evaluating these division expressions. Why isn't my pen working? Um, there we go. Um, so just think about it. Just use your logic. 80 divided by 3. This is 80 divided into 30. Did I say 80 divided by 3? I'm sorry. 80 divided by 30. This is 80 divided into 30 equal groups. So let's build the house first. This is our house of division. House of division um, houses whatever number we're dividing. We're dividing 80 by what? By 30. Okay. So just be very careful when you're setting up your problems. Um, think, use your logic to guide you and think about exactly what number are we dividing and how are we dividing that, okay? So let's take a look at this. So all we're doing here is we're dividing and then we're checking using multiplication. Um, and then you guys can see the first one was done for us. Right now we're getting away with remainders. In a couple of lessons, we're going to be converting these remainders into decimals. But in lesson 19, what we're working on tonight is just um, rewriting your remainder as a remainder. I think you guys probably did that in fourth grade. Okay, so let's think about this. How many 30s <coughs> go into 80? When we're doing long division, alignment is very important. Two 30s go into 80. Now we have to think 2 times 30. 2 times 30 is 60. See how everything's beautifully aligned? Now we're going to find the difference. 80 minus 60 is 20. Here we're going to do a check. We need to make sure that 20 is smaller than 30. If 20 was not smaller than 30, we know that we could sneak another um, 30 out of 80. But 20 is smaller than 30. Check. So we're just going to enjoy lesson 19 where we can get a get away with writing remainders. So we can pull two 30s out of 80 with a remainder of 20. Now let's check our work. We're going to check using multiplication. Here's how we're going to check. We're going to multiply 30 times 2. 30 times 2. Thank you, Micah, is 60. Our remainder was 20. So now we're going to add 20 to 60 and we're going to find that our sum is 80. We want to make sure that this number is the same as this number. And thank you, Kate. Kate has confirmed that these two numbers are the same. That's all we're doing here, you guys. Let's do one more since we're having so much darn fun. Um, and since Chloe wants, I, I can see Chloe 
just really enjoying herself. This one's for you, Chloe. Let's look at 71 divided by 50. Again, be very careful when we're setting up our long division house in our expression. This is 71 divided by 50, meaning 71 is under the protection of the division house. 71 is being divided into 50 equal parts, okay? So now we have to think, hmm, how many 50s go into 71? Just one. Now, one times 50. Thank you, Ali, is 50. Now we need to find the difference. 71 minus 50 is 21. You guys are going to see that this is going to get a little bit more complicated. But right now, you can just rewrite whatever your difference is as your remainder. But before we move forward, we're going to check this with using multiplication. So we're going to rewrite, <clears throat> I'm looking at the first one, we're going to rewrite um, this situation but just using multiplication because multiplication is the reverse of division. So 50 times 1, hmm, let's think about that. Thank you, Kendi. 50 times 1 is 50. And now we're going to add our remainder to 50. Our remainder is 21, and what is our sum? What do we get when we add 50 to 21? Our sum is 71. Thank you, Austin. Let's make sure that this number is the same as this number. Yep, we're all good. That's really all we're doing here in Lesson 19. We're just going to amp it up um, <coughs> one level of difficulty and do one more example here. Okay, I really, really like uh, this number three. We're still in lesson 19. Um, I thought this looks really interesting. So let's think about this. We're really going to have to kind of stretch our understanding um, here in number three. Okay, so let's read this. A number divided by 80 has a quotient of seven with four as a remainder. Find the number. Here we're working backwards. So let's set this up with the information that we're given. A number divided by, here's our division house, a number, we don't know what that number is, but we do know that this number is divided by 80 has a quotient of 7. A quotient is the answer to a division problem. And a rem um, has a quotient of 7 and a remainder of 4. Hmm. We need to figure out what is this number. Our uh, mystery word for the day is mustache. Our mystery word for the day is mustache, and with that being said, let's figure out what this mystery number is. Okay, we can use the check. Do you guys remember um, in our previous problems, we were using multiplication to check that our answer was correct? Let's use that to figure out what our missing number is. So all we're going to do is multiply 80, I'm, I should do this, we'll multiply 7 times 80. We're going to multiply 7 times 80, and we can do that very quickly in our head by just thinking about the fact that 7 times 8 is 56. Thank you, Alex. And then we're going to smack 1, 0 at the end of that. Thank you, Ethan. Okay, but we're not done yet because we have a remainder. So now we're going to take the product of 7 and 80, and we're going to add 4 because the remainder was 4. What happens when we add 4 to 560? When we add 4 to 560, thank you very much, Ira, we get 564. So our mystery number is 564. Very, very cool. Excited to work on, with, on this uh, with you guys tomorrow. We are clearly in this traditional algorithm, and it's going to be wonderful, and you guys are going to continue doing great things. Uh, and... Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.